With trips to movie theaters getting more and more expensive every single day, could a service like Regal Unlimited end up saving you money when you go? That's what I'll be talking about in this video because I've been a subscriber to Regal Unlimited for a little over a year and a half now, and I wanna tell you whether or not I think it's worth it based on my experience. Now, is it worth it? Yes and no, but I'll explain a little bit of both as we go on. Regal Unlimited, at least for me, is about $22 a month, which means I would need to go see about two to three movies every single month to make that break even, and anything after that then becomes a profit, if you will. Now, the movies aren't free per se, because there is a 55 cent convenience fee that you have to pay to do it online, but if you were to get your ticket in person and use the Unlimited Pass, it would then be free. And to be totally honest, I'd rather pay the 55 cent convenience fee than 12 to $15 per ticket when I wanna go see a movie. Now, I saw 20 movies last year in theaters, which I know is a lot, but without Regal Unlimited, that would have cost me about $240 using $15 as the average for every movie ticket. But since I had Unlimited, it only cost me $198. Now, that is $42 saved, which isn't a lot, but it's still money saved that's in your pocket instead of being spent on movie theater tickets. And who's to say, you could spend that $42 on popcorn or candy or drinks or whatever you wanna spend it on. Now, one thing Regal Unlimited does that I see as a perk is it cuts down the price of the more premium formats like IMAX and 4DX, which you can only get 4DX at Regal Theaters. And 4DX is a very worthwhile experience, but that's a whole different topic for a whole nother video. Now, I wouldn't normally go see movies in these more expensive formats just because I don't wanna dish out 30 bucks to go see a movie in IMAX when I can see it for 55 cents in standard. But because of Regal Unlimited, it brought that price down to $15. And I was like, okay, I'll go see a movie in IMAX. And I got to experience a bunch of movies in a more higher quality format just because of the Regal Unlimited pass. The one downside, at least for me personally, is that Regal Unlimited doesn't cover special events, which includes anime movies. So when I wanted to go see Sword Art Online or the Kaguya-sama Love is War movie or Jujutsu Kaisen Zero last year, those were not covered under the pass and I still had to pay $12 for that movie ticket. Now, a positive to this, since I'm more of an optimist, is I got to see those movies in IMAX because the normal ticket was $12, but because of the Regal Unlimited discount, the IMAX ticket was only 15, so I paid $3 more and got to see Sword Art Online in IMAX. I got to see Jujutsu Kaisen in IMAX, which was just a much better way to experience those movies, and I definitely would not have gone to see them in that format if it weren't for Regal Unlimited. You do have to be a bit more strategic when you buy your movie tickets, though, because you can only have three at a time. So I ran into this issue where a bunch of movies were coming out, and I was pre-getting my ticket so I could be there opening night, but then I had to wait until opening night to make more reservations, which isn't a problem for most people. That was just something I ran into because I watch a lot of movies. Now, to summarize, if you're someone who goes to the movies a lot, especially by yourself or even just frequently with a group of friends, this is a great idea for you because you're getting your money's worth. But if you only go for the big Marvel movies or the big summer blockbusters and you're seeing a movie once every two or three months, then I would say don't get it. Because at that point, you're spending more on Unlimited than you would be on just a normal movie ticket every time you wanted to go. So yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful. I really wanted to share my thoughts, feelings, and opinions on Regal Unlimited because I don't see a lot of people talking about it and how good of a deal it is if you go see a lot of movies like I did. So yeah, if you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and all that fun stuff. We got new episodes of the podcast coming out, and if you want to check out another video, you can do so right here. Whatever video is right here, YouTube is recommending that for you because this is the video YouTube thinks is best for you, so you should go watch it, and I hope you have a great day.